What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Eugene Real Talk. You know, chilling again. Yeah, I gotta do this shit every morning. I gotta make this motherfucker walk every morning. But we just came from our long ass walk. Now we just in the backyard chilling. You know, getting ready, getting ready, playing some gardens and shit. Just went and get the black dirt and shit in right there. Got to plant a garden right here. I got to plant a garden right here. And I got to plant one right here. I already started already. Yeah, if you don't know that leaf, if you're African, you know what that is. That's cassava leaf. <laughs> we got every I be playing we playing every greens and shit around here. But we got a bunch of places to play though. We playing here, yeah, playing back there, playing back there. I was on vacation so nigga back now. We gotta get this shit down, you know. But I came this morning man, I was watching the ESPN on my way of walking and shit. I was watching the ESPN. And they said something most. They said something dumb as hell, and I didn't get it at all. <laughs> so I wanted to make. I wanted to make it make sense to me, but it still didn't make sense to me. So uh, I gotta put some water on some shit real quick. I can't say what the shit is, but I gotta put some water on some shit real quick. <laughs> all right, there we go. But. It was so funny to me. Let me come sit in the shot. It was so funny to me, man. How ESPN was saying that shit. And I couldn't believe it. So, there we go. Y'all y'all, let me know if this makes sense. All last month, ESPN was talking about KD going to Boston, right? And they said, if KD going to Boston, so they say. I ain't saying that's what Brooklyn said. They saying, oh, KD broke Boston in the home for KD and all that shit. Then it was, oh, the Brooklyn that won Brown and some other players. But now it's the Brooklyn. Now they changed that narrative to, oh, the Brooklyn that won Basically, the whole fucking, the whole fucking Boston <laughs> starting team. Let's just say it that way. They won the whole Boston starting team for one player. That's what the media saying. ESPN, all these other platforms, then saying, right? Okay. KD is a bad man. <laughs> He's a bad man. We all can say that KD is a bad man. So if they say they want the kitchen sink for him. It, it, shit, that's what they want. But I, I ain't gonna give you that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you that motherfucker. And they were sitting there and talking about that too. Like, oh, man, Boston ain't gonna do that. Boston took the hell hot off their shit. Go to get anybody getting KD, you gotta give this, you gotta give that. I understand for Kyrie, they was doing like contract versus contract. But KD got. I think he got like three more years or four more years. No, like three or four more years left. So, <laughs> ain't no damn contract, but contract. <laughs> it's like, you got to give me something. <laughs> because he's going to be with y'all, so you got to give me something. But, but then, now, the new narrative out there is KD going to be joining. He want to join this, this, this. He want to join the sister. He want to go to the Fortnite and to go play with Joel MB and James Harden and shit. But ESPNs, that's how you know these people then be lying like a mug. They lie. They lie like, I don't know. I don't even know how to put that lie. They be lying like, I don't know what. Because they put that narrative out there. If you're going to, and, and, and let me just put this flash in there. If you're going to be putting narratives out there, at least you should think about it first. Think about what you're saying first before you put it out there. Because it just seems like you motherfuckers and just all of y'all in the room together just stupid as fuck. If one person can pick up the shit that y'all putting out there, it don't make no sense. 
And then you're fucking stupid as fuck. Because all of y'all should be picking that shit up. That it don't make no fucking sense what the fuck you say. It don't make no fucking sense. If KD got four or three more years left on his contract, why the fuck would, would, would the Nets trade him to, to the scissors and don't get nothing back for him? Because that's what you're trying to say. They're going to keep the two big players and and get some and get the best player from from Brooklyn and all they get is draft pick. Do that shit sound like it made sense? Do it sound like the Nets want to get James Harden anymore? Because it's going to be one of the two going to be leaving, Joel B or James Harden. The Nets will want one of the two. So that shit thing y'all be saying that I'm going to give you the best player and you don't give me nothing. But y'all want other teams to get y'all. When y'all talking about other teams, y'all talking about then giving the whole fucking team for that one player. But when it comes to the teams y'all like, y'all just wanting to give draft pick. Y'all want to put it in the air. Hey, I'm going to just keep it real like I always do. Brooklyn Net, your GM, he's a fucking dumbass dude. I don't. He's not a man to me. He's not a man to me. He's a fucking puppet. Because you literally make these you literally make these ESPN, you make these fast pulls and all these bunch of dumbass motherfuckers that convince your head not to pay Kyrie Irving his fucking money. But now they're talking about him going to the Lakers. You know the Lakers gonna find a way to pay him. The Lakers ain't even got no money to pay him, but the Lakers gonna find a way to pay him, right? You got the money to pay him. Why the fuck you don't wanna pay him his money? Pay him his fucking money. If he don't play no game, shit, y'all can start finding the motherfucker. Y'all ain't got to put no shit in his contract. Y'all find his motherfucker. It's work. If you don't show up to work, nigga, I, I, I get a right to write you up. And you ain't getting paid for that day. Your motherfuckers ain't be tripping. Get that motherfucker his contract and start making ESP and fuck your shit now up. Because you got to be a fucking dumbass nigga for you to listen to Stephen A. Smith and all that shit and make you don't do the right thing. You stupid as fuck. I seen Joel, Joel and B. Have, and he wasn't playing no fucking game. This nigga was getting paid. He just started playing games like two, 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 two years ago. Joel and B. started playing longer games. Joel and B. were not even playing half of the season. And he would get paid. Y'all acting like Kyrie don't get injured. Kyrie only didn't play the game one time. I mean, for two weeks, Kyrie didn't play the game. Two weeks. If y'all want to punish him for two weeks, two weeks, y'all ain't even know what the fuck was going on with him. He took, he actually, he took a week. Y'all just gave him another week because it was a pro, it was a quarantine pro, the shit that he's supposed to do. But last year, y'all can't blame him for that shit. Y'all decided not to make him play. Because Brooklyn, I always going to say, if y'all really want him to play, Y'all could have just take that fine. So y'all stop sitting there and putting narratives out there, making the most dumbest statement ever that don't make no fucking sense. Because if he can go to the, if, if Durant can go to the fucking Boston and Boston gave up their two best player, their two best player, plus, plus draft pick, plus other players. And you thinking he going to go to they say so, and they ain't gonna get nothing. They're not even gonna give a one of their best player because I know Brooklyn don't want. They don't want. They don't want what's the name no more. They don't want what's the name no more. Uh uh. He left. Why would I bring you back? And you gonna be playing by your damn self now. So why would I bring you back? They don't want him no more. The only person they can get from that deal would be Joel and B. And but you think the sister's gonna give a joy and be? Y'all just be making shit that will make it sound good so other people so other people can follow that shit. And y'all ain't got nothing to talk about. I keep telling y'all motherfucking niggas now on, on, on ESPN and all that shit. Y'all bitch ass people then man. It's so many shit going on in sport. It's so many sports going on. Y'all sports channel, right? Talk about the fucking sports channel. Talk about fucking sports. I hear when y'all sit there and start talking about these people, their money, how the contract should be, how the this should be, how the that should be. That ain't your fucking business. That is not your fucking business. Y'all niggas need to just sit there and listen to shit that y'all be saying sometimes because y'all sound like a fucking female dog. 
It's like man and jump into fucking man money and shit. Then that ain't got shit to do with your nigga. That his money. That ain't your money, nigga. Let he worry about how his contract should be, not you. Let he worry about all that other shit and not you. Yeah, y'all talking about his team. I ain't saying, I, I'm talking about his money pie. Y'all don't talk about the money, but y'all want to talk about what team they're going to and all that shit. Yeah, y'all go ahead, but at least make a sense when y'all saying shit. Make sense when y'all saying shit. Because that shit sounds stupid as fuck. When one team got the, got, they just make it to the fucking NBA final. They just make it to the NBA final. And you telling me they should break up, they should break up the whole fucking team. I really think I think they said they want the big man too. So you want actually you want all three of that all the top players. You want the two top players and you want the best defender. And you telling me he gonna go to to Philly and Philly ain't gonna give up nothing but drive pick and bench players. Man, I wish the nigga ain't, I wish that GM can do that stupid ass shit so he can get fired. He need to get fired anyway. He need to get fired. And 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 I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest with y'all because I always keep my shit in real. Ain't no ain't no if and why above with me. If I was the GM on on on, on the broken net, I'm sorry, Durant. You not going nowhere. I ain't training you nowhere. Man, you not even gonna be having a conversation on trade, nigga. You sign that damn contract. You're going to be here, nigga. I'm going to trade you when I feel like trading you. When I feel like you ain't got nothing to offer me no more, I'm going to trade your bitch ass. You sign that contract, bro. We got to be on any shit. That's the problem with black people these days. Y'all don't like to own a shit. Y'all don't like to put on a shit, nigga. You put your name on that paper. Own on that fucking shit, nigga. And I respect every, I respect you. You know I respect you, nigga. You know I talk shit for you. But fuck that shit. I always keep it real, nigga. You put your name on that paper, you own on that shit. You don't go start making demands and all that shit. Y'all niggas, y'all fucking the game up. Because you doing that dumb ass shit, somebody else gonna come behind you and do that dumb ass shit too. Before you go low, everybody fucking the game up. Before y'all go low, y'all gonna start fucking with people's money because the next, the next agreement bargaining that comes up, and the motherfucker then come after y'all ain't probably going to be making that money and y'all making no more because y'all fucking shit up for them. But ESPN, y'all ain't helping too. Y'all ain't helping. Y'all sit there and talk all these shits there about these boys and their money. Y'all sit there and do all these shit there and talk all these shit. Y'all niggas they can't even do half of the shit they do. Your niggas didn't can't even do half of y'all, half of your motherfuckers then who rather be talking, not even half of you motherfuckers. Like majority of your motherfucker, like ninety five percent of you motherfucker, SL Perkins, his fat ass was just on the court. He wasn't doing shit, but trying to be acting like he was bad and, he, and bad and mean and shit. Not doing shit, nigga. You got punked by Drake. You got punked by Drake. So I don't want. Yeah, you said shit. Drake punk your ass on the basketball court, and he went looking for you to your locker room to punk you again, nigga. And you wanna act like you big and bad? Nigga, I run around the soccer with your bitch ass a couple of times so you can pass out. That's how fat you are now. So if you want to be saying shit, nigga, you need to go hit the gym before you start talking shit because you're going to be keep talking shit and run out of breath and die one day. The way you be looking like choking yourself with that fucking, your neck be like, you ain't even got no neck. You want to be so hard with No, shut the fuck up sometime, nigga. You wasn't shit. You wasn't shit, nigga. Nobody was gonna know you if Karen if you wasn't gonna play with Karen Garnett. Nobody was gonna know you. Nobody was gonna care about you. You were just gonna be another fat ass motherfucker on the cut. So shut the fuck up. And keep doing what you do for money, nigga. I ain't hitting on your pocket. But shut the fuck up on these people in the game because you wasn't high for them. Nigga, your your basketball IQ wasn't even there. Your game sucked, your basketball IQ sucked. So nigga, you ain't shit. I got more basketball IQ than you. And you play the fucking game. So shut the fuck up. Because some of the shit that you be saying, you don't make no sense. Then when it backfire, you, you be like, oh, I would just put the fire on his back. I would just... Nigga, no, you need to put fire on your own fucking back so you can lose some of that fucking weight, nigga. Don't try putting fire on people's back. Put fire on your own fucking back so you can run, nigga, and lose some of that fucking weight. You bitch-ass nigga. 
And Stephen A., bitch ass, you should have kept yourself on, on vacation, whatever you was. You should have kept yourself on vacation. Because you look like a runaway slave on that fucking boat yesterday. I ain't going to lie. I'm coming after all of you motherfuckers this morning. You look like a runaway slave on that fucking boat yesterday. Hey, Molly. Hey, you look good as hell, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, fuck these niggas named Molly. You look good as hell on that boat, girl. Bitch, you got to put me right there by you. <laughs> hey, Jalen. Hey, man, it's just all cracking jokes around here, yeah, my nigga. You know, I ain't, I ain't trying to hit on you. Oh, y'all ain't even going out no more, huh? Hey, Marley, you look good on that boat, huh? <laughs> you look good on that boat. Hey, see this black chocolate? You can always come and get it, man. High-working ass nigga. You just got to show me what the point is. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Hey man, hey, I just had to, I just had to get myself off the mad ass the shit because I was getting mad at these dumb ass niggas, man. These niggas they're mad, and y'all need to stop lying and shit on stuff like that. Durant is not going to the seventy six. If you going to the seventy six, if you going to Philly, there ain't gonna be no big three. If it if you go to Philly and it's the big three, <laughs> I'm gonna just let y'all know now. If he go to Philly. And Philly gets to keep Joel and B, James James Harden, and get Durant. You should just I'm gonna say it right now because most people ain't wanna say it. They're not gonna say it if that shit happens. I'm gonna say it right now if that shit happens. I'm sorry, Kari. You should just leave the league. You should just leave, retire. You can go make Jew, Uncle Jew 2, Uncle Jew 3, Uncle Jew 4, nigga. You can make a lot of money off this league. Shit, fuck it. <laughs> you one person can make a lot of money off this league, bro. You can make a lot of money off this league. But they don't like you. They do every, everything to salvage you the way I see shit. They're doing everything to sabotage you. Even when they're talking about your trade, they act like you ain't nothing. They want them to trade you for for what's the name? For for what's the worst, bro? That can't even shoot. He can't even shoot. He literally can't even do nothing no more. Westbrook, Westbrook, his body giving up on him now. But they want them to trade you for him, like you ain't shit. It's like, ain't no, they ain't saying, man, told him the kitchen sink too. They acting like he ain't shit. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take this man that got, he got one year with less money. Westbrook, Westbrook got one year with more money. But I'm gonna take Westbrook, Westbrook, right? <laughs> Your motherfuckers there don't be thinking when y'all listening to these motherfuckers. Because I swear, I just be listening to them and be like, man, these people dumb as fuck this shit they be saying. These people dumb as fuck. I told you, bro, I don't give a fuck about books. <laughs> like, uh -uh. I, I, I like books, but don't get me wrong. I don't give a fuck about books. That shit don't make you smart. <laughs> that shit don't make you smart, in my opinion. My, that shit don't make you smart. You got this shit right up here. You got to use it. You know right from wrong. <laughs> you know what's right. You know what's wrong. You want to pick up book to know all the history of a stuff then that was before, before your time and shit like that. But other than that, no, I know what's right. I know what's wrong. I don't need no fucking book to go read or what's the, what I should do. No, no. Bitch ass nigga, I walk with respect. Respect me or you going to get disrespected. <laughs> it be like that. And y'all motherfuckers, then y'all disrespectful on the, on the fucking TV like a motherfucker. Y'all disrespectful. Stephen A. Smith, you want disrespectful ass nigga. You want, and I know, I know you. You don't want to do it no more, but you have to because that's the shit you pull out there. Stephen A. Smith, uh, deep down in your soul, you know you don't want to talk shit about these players then no more because they on your ass now. People on your ass now, but you got to do it. That's the job you sign up for. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if people say, oh, no, that's not that's not his job. No, bitch ass nigga, that's his job. That's why he got paid. That's why he got the contract in the first place because he can't ever talk about shit. He can't ever talk about people. 
You can't uh, talk bad shit about people. And they like how he was talking bad shit about people. So they pay him. And the moment he stopped talking bad shit about motherfuckers, he gonna get on pay. So he gotta keep it up. But nigga, you sold your soul. How you feel like going to sleep at night? You know when it gonna hurt you? When you get old and they don't want you on TV no more. When the makeup and shit don't help no more. Like fucking, like fucking Skip Betty. I ain't for, I ain't, I ain't forgetting about all of your asses today, nigga. This shit gonna be, this shit, I'm on your asses now today, Skip. Your pill ass, nigga. Nigga, you wear so much makeup, nigga. Your wife, your wife look, your wife look like the dude. <clears throat> I ain't saying she look like the dude. I'm saying your wife look like the dude because you wear more makeup than her. She look like she the man, you the woman. Nigga, how y'all be doing it? Fighting with the mirror in the morning? Oh no, you do your shit at work, huh? <laughs> you go, you go working, you go walking in the white, white cell. Everybody be looking at you, look white like my teeth. Then so you walk out of the, so you walk out of that motherfucker, you look all kind of red as hell, like you just got, you, like you been in the tin shit, nigga. We all know you don't go outside. <laughs> we all know you don't go outside. You stay in the crib with the dog. <laughs> so shut the fuck up and start talking shit about niggas. Because when they check your bitch ass, then you want to start getting your feelings and shit. Nobody give a fuck about your feelings, nigga. Nobody. You see, I calling you, nigga, because you want to put your foot in your nigga shoes. I'm going to call you a nigga and treat you like a fucking nigga. <laughs> I'm like that. I'm going to call you a nigga if you want to put your foot in nigga's shoes and be talking about it like that. I'm going to call you a nigga. Then I'm going to treat you like one that we don't like. So, bitch, keep your mouth on your people. Shinna shot. I don't know, nigga. You just a country ass nigga that's saying goose shit. And you got stuck to it. You don't even know where you came from no more. I don't know. I don't know who are you no more on that TV. It like Stephen A make you up. It like Stephen A 2.0 when I see your bitch ass sometime the way you be talking. You starting, you be trying to have a fight with, with Duran so bad and it just be looking so funny. You, you got so much negative shit to say about that dude. I be looking at you like, damn, did he fuck your girl? Did he fuck your girl? Did he fuck that girl you wanted? <laughs> oh, you know what you're asking to do? Get your fucking wife in the house, my nigga. And you gonna you gonna get back on your good ways. Or oh, get you back get you shit, man. Stop hitting some shit again. <laughs> Stop letting uh skip, man. Skip on the thing about money. Skip told skip told the whole war. He choose his his job or his family. That's why he ain't got no kids. He just with his wife. I know she wants some kids. But that nigga ain't gonna get her none. He get her a dog, though. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all need to quit fucking playing. Hey, we can do this shit every fucking day. Every fucking morning, every fucking day. But I just want to roast the shit out of y'all. I want to roast the shit out of y'all because some of the shit that y'all be saying, it don't make no fucking sense. It done. It done. It don't. You know what? I, 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 it's still bothering me how you fucking talking about a tree like that and you talking about one team giving up that whole fucking superstar lineup and the other team keeping the superstar lineup it's like the other team that giving up that superstar lineup they just make it to the fucking the final right and this other team ain't make it to the final so what the fuck are you oh no fuck these niggas <laughs> <laughs> fuck these niggas. They, not, what the fuck they got this information from? Because you see Durant and and, and what's the name hanging out. Your motherfuckers then dumb as hell. They're rich as fuck, nigga. They they're rich as fuck. They don't hang out with me and you. They hang out in that crew. So when y'all see them hanging out, even though they have power and shit, nigga, fist the power and they're men. That's what you're supposed to do. Fist that motherfucking power and move on. But because they're hanging out, that mean. He wanna he gonna be going to that team. He wanna go to that team. Y'all some bitch ass niggas. Hey Dorian, go to the Spurs. Go to the Spurs. The Spurs ain't marrying my team, but go to the Spurs. Kyrie, go to the Spurs next year too. And let that niggas and y'all both play for the Spurs and let them see a real coach. 
let them see how the Spurs coach you, how Packers coach you. I guarantee you, ain't nobody winning no the championship no more if that if that white dude get a hold of Kari and Durant. Ain't none of y'all winning no the championship no more. But y'all ain't gonna talk about him, right? Y'all get that nigga his credit, man. Pack. Try to get these niggas, man. And coach these niggas. If you can get Durant, try to get Kyrie, man. Because shit, he'll be in trouble with you. And ain't that way to all the ESPN niggas, all the first thing niggas, all the. Hey, Nick? Nick Wright? Is that your name? Nick Wright? On, on speak? Is that first thing first? I got something to say about you, but I'm going to do that shit later. But in that case, man, I'm out, man. Enjoy this video. Have fun. It just We just got to crack jokes because this nigga didn't say stupid shit online. We got to break that shit down and just make fun of it for ourselves and laugh. Peace. Stay up.